Hey y'all. Well, got a package. Um, place to order. Mm, man, less than a week ago. Uh, and here it is. Just came in the mail. It's a rainy day, and the mail lady made it on my muddy dirt road to get this package to me. So uh, I'm gonna open it right here for you guys, and we're gonna see what we got. It's a. Uh, Buck knife. It's a good pocket knife. Mmm. So, uh, I really only wanted like one thing, <laughs> two things, but of course. I had to meet the free shipping uh and i got it up to like 50 bucks and was really satisfied and it was like well you know you're only 49 dollars and some change away from free shipping and i just couldn't i just couldn't let it go so i just i got on up to uh spent spent about a hundred dollars you know a little over and got the free shipping uh and i got in here i got uh mostly stuff i've never tried mostly stuff i've never had i have one blend in here that i have had that i know i like and i just kind of kind of stocked up a little bit on it because it was on sale but the rest of the stuff's all new stuff so it's gonna be good all right um so first thing let's see we'll pull this out some pouch tobacco this is yeah Been real curious about this. Uh, let's see, it says a complex mix of subtle aromas inspired by the sweetness of the Virginia leaf. Um, so uh, it's a, I think it's supposed to be like a drugstore blend, but uh, I've had some good pouch tobaccos. I'm gonna give it a whirl. It's supposed to have notes of uh, orange and raspberry, uh, and it's supposed to have some good burleys in it. M4 full aroma. Yep pouch tobacco i got got two of those so i'm really excited to try that i'm gonna probably smoke it in a good old cob uh and four is a whole line of tobaccos they have a let just a let kia blend a burley blend a virginia blend um they have, this is the full aroma they have there's the m4 uh just original and then the full aroma is like the original with uh, a different topping or something i'm not quite sure but uh i'm gonna give this one a good whirl so I got two of those. Well, let's see. New to me. Yeah. Heard a lot of good things about this one. I I, I do like uh, aromatics. Autumn evening it's supposed to be their most widely sold bulk blend. Autumn evening. Uh, maple flavor. So. Got two of those, two small tins, and uh, probably crack one, smoke on it, see what I think, and uh, leave the other one tinned. Uh, but that'll be a good aromatic, new aromatic to try. Uh, hadn't had a maple flavored tobacco before ever yet, so that'll be good. All the meeting has got a big reputation, man. It's, a lot of people seem to like it. It's really, really popular. You can get it in bulk. I bought these little small tins. I like these tins. I like the the, uh, the tin art's pretty cool right here. All the meeting, yeah. So I got two of those. All right, let's see. Next we got another pretty maybe famous blend. Got two of these. Yeah, never had this one before. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, it's an air, uh, a English, I'm pretty sure, uh, stylish, dark, and alluring, part of the tin description, Maltese Falcon, GLPs, my first GLPs blend, right here, and I decided to go ahead and let this one be, uh, my first one, uh, first time I ever heard about this was, uh, Mutton Chop Piper, on, on his channel, he, uh, <clears throat> he really liked this one, I think this was one of his favorites for a while, so, uh, interested to try this one i'm not a really huge english smoker but i do appreciate 
complex tobaccos, uh, richly nuanced tobaccos, and I think this is supposed to sort of be one of those. Uh, it's always funny to hear somebody talk about a tobacco that they don't know anything about if you already know a lot about it. So I'm sure some of you guys have smoked this for a long time and really love it and are over the moon about it and are like, oh man, you know, you, <laughs> you just don't even know yet. And I probably don't. Um, so I hope I like that one, Maltese Falcon. I'm excited to try that one, man. That's gonna be a special one. So got two of those. Uh, by the way, all this is coming from uh, Pipes and Cigars. That's where I got uh, this order. Uh, that's one of the places uh, I get my tobacco um online purchases pops and cigars i get the magazine i love looking at the magazine uh, but there's a lot of stuff online they don't have on the magazine in the magazine so uh <clears throat> i get on their website a lot of times and just browse and see what they got going on a lot of times they have lots of killer sales so uh, I, I like pops and cigars and I, i've had pretty good luck with them shipping wise like i say this was less than a week out i think uh, it was actually sp not supposed to be here for another few days so and it was actually free shipping so you know uh, but they do have some good deals a lot of times, and that is really what prompted me to uh, even start building this order, was they had a deal going where you could get uh, two tobaccos, uh, really for the price of one, and it was two that are sort of pricey, uh, and two pretty heavy hitters. One of them I already know. Uh, I like it. The other one, I've been wanting to try it for a while. Uh, so I went ahead and got... Uh, Got in on that deal, and it was, it was a really a good price for both tobaccos. Uh, I got it really good and bolt wrapped here. One of them, I've wanted to try this for a while. I've read about it, I've, I've looked at it, I've actually put it in my cart a few times, but never really pulled the trigger. Yeah. Bingle Slices, the celebrated. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, um, I don't know here. Getting some strange aromas. Even right through the tin. A liquor jar from the 70s. Licorice jar. A licorice candy jar from the 70s? Mmm. With a little bit of smokiness. That's through the tin. Mmm. This one, uh... I think this one's beloved by a lot of people. I think one of the people that really like this blend, Bingo Slices, uh, Russ Ouellette. Uh, yeah. I think this is a blend he liked when he was a younger pipe smoker and it went away uh, and uh, and it came back and it's it's available now. Uh, we'll see, it's a, a crumble cake. Uh, yeah, got two of those. And the deal was, uh, oh, Pops and Cigars, they're running this deal. They were running it uh, a week ago. I haven't uh, got back on there since then. Since I placed the order, I just hadn't even got on the website. But a week ago, they were running this deal. You could get, uh, you got one of these and one of these. Now, I've had this. I already know I love this. I've, 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 I, try, I bought two or three, uh, two tens of this like a year or two ago. Stuffed it in my cellar and didn't mess with it. And when uh, Russell let die, or when uh, uh, Joe Langford, when he died, the day that he that I saw that he died, I think it was actually the day he died, I saw online that he died, I cracked a tin of this and I smoked it for the very first time and it was killer. I love this tobacco. I've smoked it maybe three times since then. That hadn't been that long ago. Maybe three bowls of plum pudding. I already know I like it. Uh, I had two tins of it and uh, I went ahead and smoked some. I tinned, uh, jarred both of those tins up and uh, I got two more. But that was the deal. You get this and this pretty much for the price uh, it was I think it was twenty five dollars for both of these. So you get both you get one you get get them each for twelve dollars. When normally this ten right here, I think pop plum pudding's at least fifteen. And bingo slices might even be seventeen. So it's a really good deal. Um and I, like I said, I got two. 
So I got two tins there, bingo slices, two tins of the plum pudding. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stow that away. And they also throw it in some Briar Fresh Airway Cleaner. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't I didn't ask for that. They throw that in for free. That's, that's, that's awesome, man. So thank you, Pots and Cigars. Awesome that they got it here in a timely manner, too. Uh, I mean, I got plenty to smoke, but you know, once you place that order, once you hit place that order, man, you watch in the mailbox, and it's such a treat. Uh, so this was perfect. I had about a week. I had to wait about a week. And that's that's about as long as you want to wait, really. After that, you're like, all right. Uh, I've had enough of the fun part of the waiting. I'm ready to get it. So, uh, And I'm glad I got to open it and uh, show you guys what I got, man. Yeah. Uh, so that was... Got the bingo slices, the plum pudding on that deal. I think it was called uh, Say by the Bell, maybe, or something. But you got... Uh, $25 for both tens, and they're usually, I think, if you were to buy them both separately, it'd be around 30 bucks. So you, you get some savings there. And I got, I, I hit them twice. I got two of those. Uh, then I got two of the Maltese Falcon, my first GLP's blend. Looking forward to trying that. That's going to be a good one. Also got the Autumn Evening. I know it's not, you know, the right time of year for that, but I've never had it. And I just, I wanted to go ahead and get it. And I was kind of just wanting an aromatic. I mean, that's, that's, that's really the only true aromatic i guess i got in here maybe the m4 i guess might be considered an aromatic uh i think it's actually uh m4 is considered danish i think they're it's a danish uh pot blend um but yeah the autumn evening the m4 uh i'm excited about all these new blends I, I, like i say the only one i've ever had is uh plum pudding so i'm sure there's some of you out there that probably had them all and already probably love them all might hate some of them might be like man you, 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 way you taste that one uh but i think most of these blends have a pretty good reputation and like i say there's probably a, a some some of you out there that are like man you just don't know what you got in store for you uh and i'm sure that's the case i, I i'm excited to get into some of this stuff it's gonna be good yep i sure love uh ordering tobacco man it's great uh, I, I i would say i order tobacco way more than i order pipes um and if i do order pipe it's generally I'll, I'll pick up a cob or two uh if i get a briar it's a special one uh and i like i like to really look around for uh uh estate briars too i think that's fun and that's that's not nearly as expensive as buying a, a really nice new briar um but you can almost always i feel like afford some tobacco and then there's always the draw of well yeah, let's just, just bump it up over that free shipping you know <laughs> and so then you, you know you get to get at least that much and that's nice to get to have to put that much in your cart uh it's really good uh really fun i sure i sure love buying tobacco and love smoking tobacco and i like tin tobacco i, I do buy some blends in bulk but i like tin tobacco i like uh i like tin art you know uh some of these don't even have any warnings on warning the the new warnings anyway this autumn evening doesn't have the warning on it now the bingo slices does you know and the plum pudding does but some of these don't i really like I, I like the tin art i like to look at it it's part it's part of it to me um i like the bingo slices art you know uh the flags and the, the banner it's it really classy i just think it's cool man let's see if there's any of these others i can smell through the tin what about the autumn evening that's supposed to be a pretty uh, pretty loud one Mmm, I can detect a little something. Mmm, wow, that's pretty good. It smells like sweet, for sure. Uh, the date. This one's dated December 6, 22, so not that old. Both of them. Ten on the same day. Of the autumn evening. Let's see if there's any other dates in here. Bingo slices. No date on that one. Maltese Falcon, October 11th, 22, last year. Let's see. Plum pudding. Um, no date. Don't smell it. Can't smell it through the tin. M4. 
I ain't getting a whole lot from them for it. Nope. Just the autumn evening. Oh. Not bingo slices. What is that? I, man, I want to, I just, I want to open that up and pack my pipe with that right now and just, just see what I'm detecting there. Mmm, that's good. Well, I'm excited to try all these tobaccos. Uh, Y'all, uh, go get you some. Get you going out and order some.